Hello everyone, how are you? It is Lori and I am here to do your daily message for you. I hope that all of you are happy, healthy, and having some fun. This is going to be an awesome reading. I can feel it already. Let's go ahead and roll the zodiac die, see what signs you might be dealing with, or better yet, what signs within your own birth chart might be active at this time. You have equal energies of Pisces and Taurus. I'm not sure how that balances out, but it seems to be working for you. You also have Gemini up above and Capricorn down below. So you've got Earth, uh, two Earth signs, air and water energy going on. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got coming out here for you. What's the message going to be today? And by the way, I'm using uh, Lisa Parker's Familiar Tarot. So it's about with the familiars. There we go. Like cats and ravens and so on. All right, let's see what we have here. You have the High Priestess. Okay, so there's something you know. You know it in your gut. You can trust it. You can believe it. You have absolute faith in this. Beautiful energy here. Wow, these cards look so small. <laughs> What's going on? Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what the challenge or obstacle might be here. I am doing a... Sorry about that. I am doing a Celtic cross. I'm using the Toth style. T-H-O-T-H. Uh, -T -H, Toth style. At the end of this, I will get you some oracle messages. At least a spirit animal and an angel number. Alright. During the day, uh, the general reading for the day, I tend to do a spirit animal, the letter dice, and oracle messages, as well as the angel number. So it gets a little bit more details. All right, your obstacle here is wanting to start fresh, wanting to let go of something completely because you've wised up to something here, but you may not be able to do this. It may not be feasible right now. All right, so that's the obstacle or the challenge which we'll put behind you, okay? So we'll leave the owl's eyes peeking through. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what we have here as far as what's on your mind concerning this situation. That's a pretty big barrier, the Ace of uh, Cups there. That's kind of a big one. It could have a lot to do with your emotions about a situation. You've got the wisdom, but being able to put your emotions aside may be what's affecting you the most. Okay, so you're looking for stability. Four of Pentacles here. That's the most important aspect of your of your feelings in this situation. What you're thinking about. What you're feeling about it. You're looking for stability. Something you can count on. Something you can rely on. Put your money on. Something to invest in here, possibly. With that high priestess energy, you've got the sense of knowing that you should do this or that you could do this or that you might want to do this. It's going to be different for each of you. Let's see what we have here. As the foundation of the situation. What created this situation for you? Or what's what's the purpose of this knowing? What is the uh, root of this situation here? Okay. Look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. See, Spirit kept telling me, no, that's not the right one. That's not the right one. You've got the Wheel of Fortune at the foundation here. This is you seeing the opportunity. You know it's there. You know this is probably going to be good for you. I feel like you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings here. You're ready to take the chance. You're ready to move forward. You're looking yourself straight in the eye and say, here, put your hand here. Take hold of this opportunity. 
only you can make this wheel move. Interesting energy here. All right, let's go ahead and see what the immediate future is going to be. The Five of Swords. I'm hearing some of you are going to let your ego control your situation here and not take advantage of this. You're, you're too worried about hurting somebody else's feelings. That's what this is right here. You know you've got the wisdom. You know, okay, owls represent wisdom. You know it in your gut and in your heart, yet you're like, oh, I can't hurt somebody. You know, that wouldn't be nice. That wouldn't be fair. But guess what? Who loses? You. You're the only one who loses. I don't know who this person is that you're trying to protect or not hurt. You know, it's always your choice, but keep in mind, do you have to sacrifice everything that you want in order to achieve peace and happiness within your life? I don't if you're with somebody who demands your their happiness over yours, that's not a good relationship. Keep that in mind. All right, it should at least be you know, balanced out as much as possible. So with that Five of Swords, I do feel like, uh, yeah, you're not going to let this go. You're not going to take advantage of this. Let's go ahead and see what the past influences are here. Ten of Cups. You've been very happy in the situation that you're already in. No doubt about that. You're kind of already happy. You're looking for something and you feel it. You know it could come to you. It could be a beautiful thing for you. It, you know, you just want to keep the peace here with the Four of Pentacles. You're trying to keep things balanced, stable, not step on anybody's toes. Let's see what, how you feel you're going to deal with this situation. You're going to be in alignment. You know, that's what you're trying to do is stay in, you know, the good graces of somebody else. You're trying to see eye to eye with them, but there's danger in doing that. Now, Little Red Riding Hood here, does she already know the wolf or is this before she really knows the wolf? It could be dangerous to look something in the eye like this, to challenge it. I get why you may not want to. Uh, go forward. It may create too many problems for you. However, is there something that you could be doing here? Is it worth it? Okay. So, hmm. I do kind of see you uh, trying to find keep the peace is what I keep hearing. Just, you know. Letting it be. You'll sacrifice your happiness yet again. That's what I'm hearing. And yeah, I'm feeling frustrated. Because it's like, it's so sad when I feel people going through that energy. I don't like it. I can understand wanting and needing to keep the peace and not wanting to hurt somebody's feelings. But when you give up so much of your life for other people, where's your life? All right, the Eight of Pentacles here. Your subconscious is trying to help you work through this. Your subconscious wants to heal this situation. Wait a minute. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. We've got two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be eight. Nope, this is your environment. Okay, so eight of pentacles. Things will work out. Things will be balanced. They will be right. Okay, your efforts are being appreciated. They're being seen. All right. I'm laying this out slightly different so that it's all on the table here or on the camera. All right, that's why I got confused for a minute there. So things do look like they'll work out. You will be recognized for your sacrifice, for the effort you're putting in, for your willingness to keep the peace. All right, let's see what your hopes and fears are saying. What is your subconscious focused on? Ooh, the devil. See, I feel like your desires, your spirit is trying to tell you to go after your passions. You're, you're tying yourself up here. Mm. 
I am getting very strongly that you're tying yourself up. You're holding yourself back. And Spirit wants you to break free, to go after those things that make you happy. All right. But you do what's right for you. You know what's right for you and what isn't. Most likely outcome is a, a step back, taking time to really think about this now that you've heard this message and asking yourself if this is right. You know, is this something that you can put on hold maybe instead of just saying, no, I won't do it? Or is it something that you need to keep the fires burning on so that you can take time to and find a path forward to do what you want to do here? Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Yeah, see, I think this taking this time to reflect on this, really think it through, will help you decide and give you confidence, courage, how to overcome the conflict, how to get out of your head about this. Make a decision, King of Swords, a smart decision too, a healing one. All right, we've got a cross here. Crosses represent sacrifices. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, Seven of Cups, thinking it through, Six of Wands, success. All right, so down the road, things do improve. All right. And, of course, this is always your choice, always your choice, what you decide to do. I wish you the very best, no matter what. Let's see what your angel number is here, and then we'll move on to a Spirit of the Animals Oracle message. So you've got one, two, three, four, persistence. Keep going. Please don't give up on your dreams, your desires. Keep going. Take time to really think about it before you make your final decision. You have completed a task that is in alignment with your soul's journey. The divine is letting you know that it sees you. There's the eight of pentacles. And that all of your persistence is going to pay off. You are being acknowledged. I said that right there with that Eight of Pentacles. Your positive affirmation here is, I take steps to stay in alignment with my soul's journey. And I reap the rewards of my persistence. Beautiful message. Let's get you a Spirit of the animal, Animal's Oracle message. We have Lion, a higher calling, rising above whatever is going on. You have within you all the courage that you need. There's the strength, okay, the bravery, the confidence. Let go of the past and reclaim your personal majesty. You will find success and contentment with those who belong by your side. So go ahead, make the noble choices for your life and for your tribe. You know, you are the one who knows best for yourself and your tribe, your community, your family. Let's see what else we've got here. We've also got the snow leopard, two cats. Does a leopard or a tiger ever change their stripes or spots? Self-reliance, counting on yourself. You are strongly independent. You have a lot of strength and you often will be known as solitary. You do things on your own. You're quite capable. Integrity is the most important thing for your best outcome right now. So be honest with yourself. Find your own path here. Cloak yourself with invisibility and walk with the shamans. Walking with the shamans is, is the hermit energy. Taking that time to reflect. Look at your decisions. What are you doing? Where are you going? What do you desire? All right. Use your intuition and let your life unfold in silent perfection. So you don't have to tell everybody what you're doing or anything else. All right, my loves, if you're interested in a personal reading, please email me and I will send you all the details. My email address is in the description box below or on my channel page. If you're interested in any of these products here, um, there is a link in the description box below. And... Anything else? Oh, of course. If you've resonated with a message, please tickle tap, boop, or zap that like button. Feel free to claim it in the comments. And I adore each and every one of you who does this on a consistent basis. You are awesome. Also, feel free to share these messages with anybody that you think might benefit from hearing them. 
And a quick reminder, a rewind here, on Saturdays, 3.30 in the afternoon, Eastern Standard Time. Okay, I'm located in Florida. I have been doing live stream messages where I do a general reading or whatever you guys choose. I will do that reading. The highest amount of recommendations is what I will do. And then after that, after we chit chat and I do the reading, after that, if you want a question answered, I will take a donation to the channel to answer one quick question. Okay. All right. I love you guys to pieces until our energy crosses again. I'm going to wish you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.